closer look at the scene of a deadly crash on a golf course near Monument Road. This is a new angle just into the newsroom showing the ultralight aircraft that went down at around 6.30 this morning. Joining us this morning is News for Jack's aviation expert, Ed Booth. Thank you so much for coming morning, on the show Zach. under such here. short notice. Uh, we are getting word that this is an ultralight aircraft. What is that and how is that different from a plane? An ultralight aircraft is a totally unregulated part of aviation. An ultralight aircraft can only have one seat. It has to weigh less than 254 pounds empty cannot carry more than five gallons of fuel, cannot fly faster than about 64 miles an hour. No training, no licensing, no medical certification for the pilots. It's a fringe area of aviation. They're not supposed to be flown over populated areas. I don't know why it was uh, operating adjacent to Craig Airport. Well it certainly wasn't with permission of the control tower. I was just gonna ask you that. We know this location is very close to Craig Airport. With that said, knowing that information, it's, it's hard to understand why or where this plane came from, especially so close to that airport. They don't need much uh, room to operate, a couple hundred feet maybe. Uh, it likely took off from the airport, from the golf course and crashed on the golf course. So take it took off from the golf course perhaps in, in all likelihood okay that would not be the airport guess. not the airport not the airport uh, for perspective Ed, how we're getting a, a, a live look at that aircraft there it does appear for to not be very big for perspective how large I know you were you were giving dimensions 254 pounds wingspan Wing, you and wingspan, I are about what six feet apart right now wingspan of maybe 16 17 feet uh, steel tube frame, aluminum frame covered by a Dacron fabric similar to sailcloth, mm. powered by a, an engine similar to what you would see on lawn equipment, a chainsaw engine, that sort of thing. And again, no training, no, no certification. No training required, no FAA oversight. The FAA will come in and note that this accident occurred, mm. but I suspect the investigation will be left up to local law enforcement authorities. Okay, and we know right now JFRD is on scene along with JSO. We, of course, will continue to follow this throughout the morning. We know weather moved through the area uh, early this morning and around the time this uh, incident happened. Of course, weather will probably be uh, looked at, examined, if at all, uh, it, it could be. They're not. They're not known to be uh, flyable in high wind conditions. Yeah, but, inclement uh, weather would not be good.